Hello, I'm here again. Strange. Now, you might remember a few videos back, I was saying that um, I had some more box toys when we were looking at this one. Uh, this matchbox, which I have also boxed up correctly now, as that's how it's actually meant to be with the two cars. But yes, I have a few more box toys, which I thought that I would quickly, quickly, all right, this would take forever, go through. Um, I've got three. How surprising. From different companies, from different eras. So, uh, yeah, let's start with this one. You might have seen this one before. I think I brought it up. In relation, but this is a Matchbox 75, non-focusing. Uh, focus is always a problem with these videos, it's really frustrating. It's an airport coach. Uh, let's see if we can read what it says. Are you going to... Are you going to... There we go. Matchbox, marca Registia. Registered trademark of Lensley Products & Co. Limited, London E95PA. Let's see, there should be a year on here somewhere, and if not, there's one on the car. There you go. 1976 Lensley Products Co. So, 1976, this is 40, 70, 80, 90, 2000, 2010. Yeah, this is about 40 odd years old now. Um, it's not looking too bad, considering it is a cardboard box. Pretty sure this is the original box as well, but this is how these things are packed. These are, aren't actually too hard to come across the boxes themselves. They're still quite common, which is good, but... Uh, yeah, you can see the difference between 80s packaging and uh, 70s packaging, but I uh, don't think they came with this. But that is the toy as well. Again, I think I've shown this um, when we were going, talking about uh, cars. But yes, uh, it says 1977 on the bottom of there, actually, rather than 1976. So, don't know what's going on there, but we'll put those bits and pieces there, because that was a quick one. I'm going to look at some French product now. Solidio. You have probably not heard of Solidio before. Very dusty Solidio. It's been on my shelf for a bit too long. Bossing, as it is a French company. I collect Solidio for shits and giggles. Uh, it's mostly up there. Although I tend to collect the tanks and military. They do all sorts of different vehicles, but I tend to take the tanks and military. And this is the only one in box that I have. It's a company from the 70s. It's uh, French from the top of my head. Jump cut. Apparently I ran out of memory to record stuff, so I've been talking to myself for a couple of minutes now. And in the meantime, I have taken it out of the box and not put it back in. Anyway, vehicle. Um, I, it is a French company. French. German, I think. Or possibly Dutch. Probably German. English. Spanish. Made in France. That is not focused. Colours, transfers and other details may differ from those illustrated on the box and in the catalogue, lead-free paint. Well, that feels like a fairly important thing to include in your demonstration models is lead-free paint. And it is 8.5 tonnes, it has a crew of five, one machine gun, one cannon of 20, just one cannon, not 20, and goes at 85 kilometres an hour. As I said, I've already taken it out of the box, and I couldn't be bothered to put it back in because, oh, but I would like to point out, we do get a free dead moth with this product. You always get a free dead moth with old French products. Um, we call him Billy the Moth. That's completely irrelevant. But here is the actual thing out of packaging. Uh, what is it? It is... A, but da, da, da. I'm going to read it off this other one I've got sitting right here for other reasons. It is an SDKFZ 232 scouting vehicle, not the Puma model. The Puma model had a much larger gun on it. I think it had a, uh, a 57 millimeter on it and was capable of taking out light armor. I This is the only one of these I own in packaging, as I mentioned before, and I was unaware, as I've never taken this out of the packaging either. They actually appear to come with a display stand, which none of my other ones have. Here is another one. This is my display model on the one I play with. I mean, um, the one I play with. As you can see, they are the same, but this one is missing its radio antenna on the top, and this one does have its radio antenna on the top. But yes, packaging, I said that appears to be gone. That's really annoying. We also got a set of uh, little decals. Look, we got number plate and a number plate and a number plate and K and more vehicles and... Um... If there's one thing I'm pretty sure the Germans weren't interested in in the late 30s, it would be peace. Which we... Can, can we focus on that? Yes, there we go. It would not be that symbol. I'm pretty damn sure they weren't particularly interested in that. 
Uh, oh, and there's uh, warning instructions on the back, which I'm going to try and read now without breaking it, because this is all going back in the packaging when I'm done. Please handle the parasol antenna with great care, as it breaks easily. It should be placed on the vehicle just before showing the item. So what it's saying is, our design of toy, or display model, because I don't really think they're toys to be fair, is shit and breaks pretty damn easily. Don't break it, you dumb bastard. Right, I'm just going to sort of place that there. Put that there as well, that's fine. And I said this is one of the other Slidios, my display model one, uh, that I play with because I do like to play with these. They're actually really, really good solid things from the 70s. Um, and you can, yeah, they're actually really, really good, but I'll put that aside. We're going to move to the last object uh, that I have in box. And this is the first one I got in box, and was the only thing I ever set out to get in box. Because another era of toys that I had a great interest in, uh, although that's dwindled off in the past couple of years, was Dinky. Dinky being a British toy manufacturer from the 1920s up until about 1985, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but this, I think, is a piece from the 70s. I don't actually know. I never really researched it that much. And as you can see, it is an 88mm gun, he says as he rearranges the camera and ruins everything. Die cast metal, 88mm gun, dinky toys, 656. Yeah, if you can't tell, this is all original, including the blister packaging, which is normally the bit that tends to go. It's not too hard to find these in box, but the blister packaging tends to be the worst bit. They actually make replacement blister packaging, uh, because this has been around for probably 40-odd years. We're not going to complain. Um, we'll put this aside for the second. We'll have a quick look at the box, because the a nice thing about Dinky Toys is all the instructions are written on the base of the box, so you can see exactly what you've got. So actually do it. This is... Do not point missiles at people. This is good advice. If you run a country, you should definitely not point your missiles at people. Printed in England, 1974 Meccano Limited. Your dealer can supply spare tyres for this model. As for tyre sales, number 083. This product is not in focus and is not going to focus, so fuck you. This product conforms to British standards BS3443, Meccano. The Airfix group. This is an Airfix thing? Is this what Airfix did before they made model kits? Hmm. Not recommended for children under three years of age. Yeah, it is a model gun that fires. You pull it back, you put a shell in, you let it go, it fires, and you take out Timmy's eyeballs. It's great. Honestly, I love playing with this thing. It's so much fun. You get that? Uh... You could put the legs out, and that's really cool. Made by Meccano Limited, Bins Road, Liverpool, L131DA, England. Tell 051-228-2701. Full stop. Yeah. And uh, besides the two close, squeeze sides of lug together, press back into pack. To open, fingernail under lug, flick up. Yeah, basically, this is how you do the packaging. But yeah, this is the packaging. Um, it's very, very different to, obviously, this packaging and this packaging. This packaging, because besides the blister pack, it's just two pieces. There's there's nothing else in there, which is great. I like dinky toys. But let's actually look at the toy, because although the packaging is genuinely quite interesting, this is bloody amazing, as far as I ever care. This is something I would have loved to have had as a kid, uh, once you focus. There we go. It is an 88 flak, and it's so good. It's made of... It's a shame this is going. The stick has been going for a long time. Uh, those stickers, incidentally, indicated how many aircraft have been shot down or how to identify them from the ground, sort of thing. Anyway, that's not relevant. This is a very well-made model. Uh, Dinky Toys always were. They're always very good quality. Good metal. Tires are good. It's got a tiny point at the front, and the back is stable. That's great. And the gun itself. Of course, you can, as well, completely separate the two bits place the gun down, put the legs out, and then use it as a gun. And obviously with a mechanism to raise it up and down, because although it was originally an anti-tank gun, that was anti-aircraft gun originally, and turned into an anti-tank gun. And you can use it to shoot down people you don't like. And they said it has a firing mechanism, which involves pulling this back, and these are the missiles, incidentally. 
I believe these are original missiles as well, which means they've probably been fired a lot and lost. And I'm going to lose one now for the purpose of this video. As in, I probably am going to lose it. But you take a shell, place it in here once you've loaded this back, and uh, let, what shall we fire at? Let's fire at that box. Are you ready? Ta-da! I think the spring's starting to go in it a little bit. But no, you just imagine back in the day playing with these. I've had full-on battles using other dinky toys, literally just shooting shells. They didn't even fire. Oh, that's a shame. The spring's gone. I've had this model for a long-ass time. Literally firing shells at each other. And it's a lot of fun. Except for when they land in your eyeballs. But yeah, really solid, well-made model toy. This dinky always made good stuff. They did. It's a real shame they went out of business, but they, again, they couldn't really compete in the long run with companies like Matchbox, who were kind of up to date and able to put their products out quite cheaply. These, although these weren't particularly hard to get when I got a hold of them, uh, I mean, this cost me 40 quid 10 years ago. They're uh, getting harder to get, as you'd suspect. But no, this is a really good thing. That's the wrong one. I've got to put it on the right one. But yeah, that's just a look at some toys that are still boxed with their packaging and how the package differs and what you get for your money. And as I said, uh, if you're a collector and you like stuff like this, you know, this is a must get. Again, it's not a particularly hard model to get a hold of, but uh, it's a must have, especially if you can get something like he says doing the word thing and going to grab something without jump cutting. God, you're absolutely awful. Something like this. Oh, which is, again, a display model with the wrong kind of tracks, but I just brought it for shits and giggles. Incidentally, with a pack... Uh, I think it's a pack uh, 39, not sure. On it, also with a firing mechanism, although I think it takes different shells. I don't even know if this one works anymore. It's... Uh, oh, flipping heck. Ooh. Yeah, this one... Uh, something tells me this probably doesn't work anymore. Anyway, especially if you really want to be fun, it's got a towing hook on the back, you can tow it on, and then you can tow them along. Yay, and you can recreate the invasion of Poland using Solidio scouting armoured vehicles and big things with big guns and other big guns with bosses in the background. Yeah! Here's a Lego boss. Happy day, people.